Hello everyone and welcome to another Starfield video. My name is Brian if you happen to be new to the channel but if you're a part of the 74,254 y'all who've hit that subscribe button especially the almost 10,000 of you guys who've just joined the channel in the last 28 days welcome in. Now this video is going to talk about what happens next. We're going to cover so much really cool stuff that's going on today and it's my hope that I can give you guys something to help ease the burden all the way up to the early access launch that happens this evening. If you want to come hang out for the live stream, we'll be sure to have a lot of fun tonight, but no worries if not. I know that we all have busy schedules in our lives, but Implode asked me this. Will you be doing more mod reviews for Starfield? Maybe one to two videos a week for the mods that I find interesting? And not only that, I'm actually fully planning on diving in and learning how to make my own mods. I'm a software developer as a profession. I've always been generally curious, but I've played Bethesda games primarily on console and that brings us to kind of our first news story of today and it gets exciting uh hazard or gaming and i'm going to include a link to this tweet in the description uh, it says fyi according to pete hines starfield will receive official mod support for the xbox series consoles after launch now no specific time frame is shared this all comes together in one key idea this is actually something very exciting to see overall because this means more mods like this means that the game can continue to live on and thrive on but let's not kid ourselves many of you guys are are here for starfield news and as soon as the game is out like i understand that people will move on now master brings this up says i'm not offended that you're bringing up politics but i do find it annoying to see you bring up something as divisive when i'm only here for starfield content now it's your channel and you're allowed to run it however you want now much respect like this is i think a very respectful uh, you know, comment, but he says, just letting you know that as well as all pretty much is going to fly with most people once the channel inevitably blows up once Starfield drops for everyone on the 6th. Yeah, well, and I, I'm reading this, his view of blows up is, yeah, the, it's it's kind of reached its its apex in this regards. And that's the natural way about it. I, I, I keep saying, and I want to make sure that you guys truly, like, I, I hope this feels good to you, because like, for me, it's a, it's a source of joy. It's like, you guys don't owe me anything. And I think that's the way of it. I want to be free to express and share with you guys awesome video game news and sometimes some things about life, which a couple of people message me like, I think maybe for legal reasons, you want to say not financial advice. So I'm going to keep teaching you the Dave Ramsey method. I'm going to keep using that. This is what Dave Ramsey teaches and how it helped me pay off hundred thousand dollars of debt, because I think you're worth it. Now, if you're just here for the game news, that's what you're going to get. That's why you can go ahead and dip out and we'll save the rest of this conversation for class dismissed today because there are some really cool things that I'd like to share with you on this launch day for Starfield. But Paris tweets out and I'm going to highlight Paris and Rand, and Rand because we have reviews. The review embargo drops here in just a few hours from the time this video gets posted. Uh, Paris tweets out, kind of funny review for Starfield has been recorded. One hour and 20 minutes of insight and discussion awaits today at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So that's 11 a.m. Tech Central, uh, in this case, Texas Central time. And, uh, and that would be, I guess, 10, no, no, 11, uh, lunchtime, noon, uh, for those of you on the East Coast. And if you guys are beyond the reach of the United States, howdy from Texas. I love you guys very much. Thanks for checking out this video. Now, Randall Thor says, all right, I just finished recording my Starfield review video, and it's a long one coming in at over 30 minutes long. I still need to edit, and so it will come down. But man, I had a lot to say about Xbox's biggest exclusive. I hope you guys enjoy it. So lots of reviews today. Now, my plan ultimately is like you guys going to be consuming these reviews for those who have been playing it and can share their hands on. But the reviews, no review will ever sway my excitement or my hope or, you know, my, like my feelings like this is going to be something that we get to experience. And I will always advocate that the best review possible is your personal review. I don't know why I stuttered briefly. I don't know if that came in on, on the mic at all, but you guys can let me know if you heard my stutter there a little bit. But that's the, what I wanted to bring you guys today. Just this level of thank you guys, A, for being here and for the support, but B, you don't owe me anything. And if you do decide to go, uh, I get it. And it's and you're always welcome back whenever you feel like it, because beyond Starfield, I've always covered multiple games. And sometimes YouTube recommends those videos and sometimes they don't. And right now it's been recommending it a whole heck of a lot. The money that has come in this month has been absolutely mind blowing. 
Uh, and what I get, what I said a couple of weeks ago, um, I'm planning on uh, trying to donate a, a nice big chunk of that uh, to obviously the relief for Hawaii for the fire in that case. So I'll encourage you guys to, you know, consider trying to do that. And that's why I want to, you know, we'll say class dismissed guys. Thanks for being here. Um, that's why I want to continue to encourage you guys uh, to get out of debt because that is going to make you and give you so many options. And we've talked about that in some of the previous class dismissed. It's very, very important because you're important. Uh, everybody thinks that there's this kind of false dichotomy, this, this lie that we tell ourselves. It's not a horrible lie, but we, you know, the, the idea that hope that things can get better. And that's what you need to have. Everybody needs to have hope, but also at the same time, on the other hand, just be prepared for when things don't. And debt has that ability to kind of lock you in and steal that from you. Now, Grimmitz says, uh, great channel, love the gaming and financial combo. Uh, credit is super helpful, though credit cards return small percentages on your purchases you're already making. Uh, it really adds up, but why? But I get why people tell others to avoid it. Some people can manage credit cards. Some people can't. But a lot of people think they are the exception rather than the rule. And the numbers themselves, like, you know, the statistics behind it all showcase that the majority of y'all cannot manage your credit cards because also the other studies that we have showcase that you spend 20% more when you use a credit card than if you actually used like a debit card or handed somebody cash. Isn't that wild? Yes, you're getting points or maybe airline miles, but most of those don't get, re you know, renewed or reviewed. And ultimately, it is just like this trap door. You're, you're, you're playing with fire uh, in this case. Now, I'm not going to go and judge you for having a credit card. That's not my job. I honestly, like, if you don't follow and if you want to live in debt and that's the life that you want and you go and die on the Walmart floor because of old age and retirement and you haven't saved, like, I will pity you. I will pray for you this whole time. But that's your future if you don't change it. And so the reason why Dave Ramsey teaches Again, like we'll say for legal reasons, I'm not, a, you know, like go, if you need financial advice, go talk to a financial advisor, but pay off your debts, people, um, pay off your debts because then all of a sudden, when those, those times that we will all be facing, you might be in them right now. And it's, I hope my words don't make you feel like a failure because you're not a failure. You got lied to. And what you need to do is you need to get active and you need to get aggressive and you need to say enough i'm sick and tired of being this way and hopefully that then sparks the change and the reason why you pay off the debt and you want to attack it like <laughs> like it's an uh, not like an unwanted guess what's a, what's an analogy i'm looking for on the top of my head i can't think of one you want, okay here we go you want to attack it like a boss like a monster in a game you want to go in and you want to conquer it and you don't want that boss fight to take you 30 years do you of course not so that's what that is now again if you're if you're a credit card person and you can manage it you're never going to hear me judge you and what whatever you know like if you're if you got a system etc but i think it's you're really playing with the trap door and it can catch you really hard uh and it can also help establish bad habits right again imagine uh you know imagine just giving up you know 20 percent more for everything like hey yeah that coffee's you know 99 cents here here have a have a dollar 40. you know like why are you paying more why why are you paying more when you don't need to maybe i don't know i'll let you guys choose that uh warrior goat says we talk about the real shit here. That's the best quote I've heard in a long time. It's important. One of the things that I've um, this year alone, and that, you know, and whether you believe in God or not, that's up to you. Um, God's been telling me this entire year, like the phrase that he just keeps inserting to my heart. And if you don't hear God, you got to quiet your life down. You got to simplify. One of the things is that God doesn't, well, he can speak in big tones. But overall, I think I find God in, in whispers, you know, in this case, that the quiet of the heart, uh, you know, reflecting on scripture is a really good thing. If you guys struggle with that, start with the Gospels, just live in the Gospels. A lot of people read like, oh, I'm going to read the Bible from the Bible is a library. It isn't a book. We have condensed an entire library of the Holy Word of God into what people consider a book, but you're opening a library. And so it can be difficult to step into. But I'd recommend starting with the Gospels, maybe then moving into Acts. Okay, beyond the religious component, God has been talking to me this whole year, constantly with the phrase, be not afraid. And there's so much fear out there. And I'm sick of it. I'm tired of this fear and this anxiety that just looms over each and every one of us 
And so this is me being not afraid. And so when people, you know, in this case, and they're welcome to, to come and to, and to go, that's the beauty of it. You owe me nothing. And I love that. That's a source of joy for me because ultimately what it does is it allows me to share with you what is real. And I'm sick of all the artificial. I, I really, really am. And I think based off of just what we've seen happen over this last month, I'm glad that we're getting traction. If you guys are new, there's been a lot of negativity coming my way. A lot of hate rolls my way. But I'm so glad that you are here right now because it does help and it does humble me to sit here and reflect on the fact that, you know, God's telling me that and I was afraid. And there's still a part of me that no matter what is a husband and provider, I'm trying not to be a helicopter dad, but I'm literally just trying to do my best. And a part of that isn't really these messages for you. If you resonate with this message, that's great. My selfishness in all of this is that at some point I won't be around. And I hope that one of my kids or my grandkids can hear these words and know that they can be okay. <sighs> because we all are on this struggle together. But it's that struggle that makes us human. And that I love you. And I mean it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for your time. It really does mean the world to me. We've got a crazy day ahead of us. There's going to be so much to talk about. There's going to be so much to play. If you want to continue to stick with me after this, that's awesome. And if you don't, that's awesome too. Find something that brings you joy in this life. Hold on to it and never let it go. Love you guys and I'll see you next time.